Dude, she was checking me out. Check me out. See, she was checking me out. Did you see that? Oh, see, she looked at me. Yeah, after you, like, bumped into her. <laughs> yeah, see? Look, she's checking me out. <laughs> checking me out my ass? I see how it is. Welcome back to another episode, friends. Um, We're playing Laser Suit Larry. There's no music or audio, so this is kind of awkward, but don't worry. There's very there will be some audio. <laughs> yeah, there's very slight sound effects. <laughs> dude, you should walk up to that dude and just rub your balls on his leg. Okay, I'm doing it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm rubbing my balls See, if this on were, if, leg. If this were the real Larry, I feel like he would do it. <laughs> There Is that go. the sound of you swishing your balls in his mouth just for extra, yeah. extra <laughs> oh, insult yeah. to injury? Mm. Fe feel my hairy testicles in your mouth. <laughs> Do you think Larry shaves? I don't know. My initial gut reaction was, of course, but then Larry might just be the person that is... So arrogant and self-centered and uncaring about his partners that he doesn't. And it's just... And it's just like a, uh, I don't know, a forest down there. Might be a forest. Holy fuck, this water's I feel like, I f oh. <clears throat> the more I think about it, I feel like Larry would be the double standard type. Because you don't have to shave. But I feel like Larry's the kind of person that would, that would not do it. But expect that he, he'd not do it and just expect that he's better than other people and expect them to for his pleasure and not consider if they would like him to or not. Mm. I think that's where I think uh, the answer. So the answer is no, I don't think he does, but I think that's the reason why though. That makes sense. That makes sense. We got gas. gas and I'm basing that mostly on what I know about leisure suit, Larry, not necessarily this little, this little twerp right here because he hasn't had much personality to speak of. But I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say he would do the same. As a matter of fact, after you turn the camera, now that I'm thinking about it, this dude doesn't look like he is 18 or older. No, he doesn't look like Laser Suit Larry at all, though. Let's be honest. Like he looks. It's supposed to be like young Larry, I guess, before he makes his fortune and has all the ladies. I guess so. But who wants to play that Larry? Man. Dude, look at that fucking clouds look how pixelated mm -hmm. it is yeah mm, that's like that's, super nintendo oh yeah I, I was that's what i was going to say that's some pixel art right there oh right before i forget my fucking question okay yes, i was yes. talking about my question off uh off air and i thought I you were just disguising i thought you were disguising it as the shaving question <laughs> no <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead go ahead okay so oh that's a butt it is it's a nice ass all right so my question is so i was sitting on the toilet taking a shit and a, a question really came up to me and i was like holy shit i wonder so do you do toilet paper companies use their own toilet paper at their offices? Or do they use, like, shitty-ass toilet paper for, like, to make sure it's, like, you know, cheaper? <sighs> do they do the one-ply, or do they get, the, like, the, the best premium toilet paper that they produce? Like, or do you go there and you're wiping your ass with shitty toilet paper because they don't want to spend that kind of money on you? I see, I see. I had that dilemma and I couldn't answer that. I want to know. I want to go to like fucking, I don't know. Charmin. Charmin or whatever. And see that, um, and see that like, w what kind of toilet paper they have. I have this dilemma right now. Let's see. Perhaps it depends on the company, but I'm sure... It has to be cheaper for them to use what they are producing. Like, it just has to be cheaper for them to do that. 
even with bulk orders, like to, to use some of their own supply. But now, yeah, because I get it. Like you know, the standard, I don't know, U line stuff where you buy like a big old pack of like the big rolls and stuff like that. Like yeah. that stuff is that stuff is absolute garbage. That is that is enough to be like, hey. It was in the we, we gave it to you. It was in the thing, the the toilet paper holder. Like you can technically say that you've got it, but what good has it done anybody in the end? Uh, barely any. But let's see a company like a company like Charmin though. Let's consider what do we know about Charmin? All we can really know is from their ad campaigns with those nasty fucking bears. Bears yeah. that fucking get toilet paper everywhere? Yeah, dude, I hate those bears. They're but, like, oh shit! But the bears do give me some sense that this is a company that is like, fuck it. And we're gonna be nasty, but we're gonna be comfortable when we're nasty. And they're gonna have, like, the nice toilet paper that they produce in their uh, in-house facilities there. Um, but you say someone else uh angel soft for instance angel soft strikes me as a company that would skimp a little bit they use their own angel soft toilet paper in the bathrooms at the offices but they use like the lowest quality version of the angel soft that they produce you know what i mean yeah it, they would use like their one ply garbage yeah it's, it, they, they, it is what they made but it's like their lowest quality like version of what they made who else makes toilet paper? Those are the only two brands I can think of. <laughs> uh, uh, Purex? Is Purex a company? Plurlex? Or Purex? Purex, yeah. Uh, I, I'll, hmm, they probably make toilet paper, maybe. I always think of them as the company that uh, makes, like, hand sanitizer. But I'm sure they make other cleanliness yeah, products. Something awful? Uh -huh. uh, of course not. Rule Man, everybody's four. rating that same ass. How to go with Kip. I, I gave him his phone back. Were you playing the skin flute? I have no idea what you're implying. I got another shit job with your name on it. Dude, now, did you see all the cum on his fucking coat? Right away. Of course he's fucking masturbating. Brewing, and I'm too swamped with work here to deal with it myself. My soap operas are starting. In the street, That's all we are, fucking monkeys that masturbate. Up. He looks like a monkey. Oh, he, he's, his, his uniform is a little nasty. Yeah, dude, look at all that cum stain. He misses. Oh my god, you are stupid. You are already doing something for me. You can tell he tilts more, his dick tilts more on the right side. Because he's got the cum <laughs> more on his right. Oh man, I remember uh, I saw like a picture um, where like some dude quit his job or maybe he got fired i don't know that the reason he left doesn't matter so much um because it couldn't have been like a like a some sort of like out of rage or something like that because it has to have been too ongoing but ultimately this dude leaves from this job we'll say he quits so uh they were in they come to his desk and like i guess they were getting like some cables or getting the computer moving something that involved being under the edge of the desk and that's when this picture was taken it was shared uh i don't know where i found it surely it originated on reddit of course why not everything does um and <laughs> on the underside of the desk is just cum stains everywhere just like white oh, splatter God. stains all over the underside of the desk Uh, it's just like he was working it up. He finished. He didn't want to go anywhere. Like leave the desk. Given, I guess it would be awkward or hard to if you've already started and gotten that far there. So he just he just spurred it on the underside of the desk and just let it be. <laughs> I mean that that's what I gathered from this narrative in the in the picture. Oh my God. Oh my god. Well, you know, when you go, you can't, when there's a certain point where you just can't, you know, can't stop yourself. The, the, the you like going. a, like a point of no return type situation? There, yeah, point of no return. You keep going, then you're like, ah, can't return from this. It's like when grandma starts walking through the door, but you can't stop. 
I was going to compare it to uh, like the like Dark Phoenix from the X Men, whenever in particular like on uh, Marvel vs. Capcom three, whenever she transforms and she's like, I can't control it. <laughs> Kind of hit that I can't control it, that Dark Phoenix moment. I'm actually here. Oh fuck! Shitstorm. Ah well, you found something a whole lot more. I'm Damon Lecoq. Be Damon Lecoq. Wait, is that Patrick Warburton? Yeah. Yep. No, the other one, the movie star. Yeah. So um. What? The shitstorms. Why is he in this bad game? Man, this girl on the right looks like a off-brand brat doll. I was merely rehearsing. Yeah, she doesn't look like an off-brand. It struck me that this place is a bit on the muggy side. That's the emergency. Hi, I'm Amy. It really is stuffy here. She's like an angel with a perfect pair of wings. Um, thanks. I think. Oh, I, I, I mean, you're hot in here. I, I mean, turning me on. I, I mean, turn, turn the, the, the fan. On. That is I, I mean, Shannon Elizabeth. That this Amy Loveheart. I don't know who. Sh I don't know who Shannon Elizabeth is. I know you wouldn't want to see me all sweaty. Oh no, 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 no! Of course not. I'm sure it wouldn't taste like salty sugar daisies. Or... Yeah, fool! You better get out there and collect the pages of our script. Well. Like you. Do they really need scripts in a porno? Oh, sick! I still have the express. Oh, indeed, indeed. Look at these gaming strats. <laughs> Let's see. Who else of note does voices in this game? There's, there's not a huge cast. I can. Oh wait, hold on. Is there more cast? No, this is the cast. Oh yeah, there's not very many people in this game. Uh, Patrick Warburton. Carmen yeah. Electra. Carmen Electra is Ginger Vitus. What? Really? Yep. Shannon Elizabeth is Amy that we just saw. Jay Moore. I I really don't know who hardly any of these people are. Uh, Peter Graves, Nikki Cox, Tom Arnold, Artie Lang, Dave Attell, Jane Lynch, Jeffrey Tamor. Josh Keaton, and then uh, there's some characters that are just listed as like seduction girls and assorted characters. But they got Gina Cantrell, Jessica Lynn, Rick Pasqualone, Debbie Mae West, and Brandy Williams. How do they? Oh fuck! And that's the entire cast, apparently. How do they? How do they afford these people? How do they afford like? You know, these are all these are the real questions. And I don't. I want to know because I feel like I, I feel like I could afford them. Man, AJ, we could afford them on front. Like, let's have them. We could pay for them to be on our show. Get Patrick Warburton and Carmen Electra on front. Yeah, dude. If they can be on Laser Laser Suit Larry, they can be in our fucking game. I mean, I mean, our fucking show. Uh. I'm getting fucking pissed off. Why the fuck? Are what does Carmen Electra do? Like, I know... I know the name. I play the character of Ginger Vitus. It's been so much fun to actually get a chance to go and, and record your voice and sort of, you know, get into all the dirty dialogue and, and, and have the freedom to say whatever you want. Tara Lee Patrick, known professionally as Carmen Electra. Is an American model, actress, television personality, singer, and dancer. <laughs> I feel like they're saying she has done these things, that not necessarily she's oh. the best at them. Spouses. Oh. <laughs> uh, she was she was briefly married to Dennis Rodman for a year or less, and then was married to Dave Navarro, <sighs> who only knows the guitarist of Jane's Addiction, and I fucking hate Jane's Addiction. He was briefly in the Red Hot Chili Peppers as well, but, but that's not one of their stronger albums, in my opinion. But, uh, fucking... Uh, I'm not a fan of Jane's Addiction. Apparently she has done infomercials, such as the Thigh Styler. Oh, okay. Oh, Larry, you have such a big heart strap on. AJ, where do we start? How do we... 
How do we how do we get these people on our show? Like, do we start off with an agent? Do we need to get an man? It costs money to get an agent. Uh, yeah. we just gotta ask ourselves somehow, or yeah. or we can create a a false agent character to contact them through. Uh, we could always yeah. oh. we could yeah, always we could say Jared to be our agent. Hmm, I was. <laughs> I mean, possibly, but I was going to say that uh, we sh maybe Jess could handle that. Uh, oh. Maybe uh, <laughs> you could try to get Jared to do it. I'm not going <laughs> to promise any any. I'm not going to promise the success, but the adventure would probably be grand. Yeah, he would have to film all of it. Also, uh, I was looking at Carmen Electra's, what is this, her filmography. In the same year that she did Leisure Suit Larry, Box Office Buzz, she also did a, a movie called Oy Vey, My Son is Gay. <laughs> she hasn't done anything really in the last, like, four years. All right, AJ, on next episode of Friend, we're going to figure out how we're going to get these people on the show. Okay, so we have to figure out how to get uh, Carmen Electra. Yeah. Well, the first step is probably... Uh, hmm. Like, do they need money? Like, they got paid. How much do they get paid to do this game? I don't know. I don't. I don't know how to get that information. <laughs> I mean, I think contact team seventeen. <laughs> but to be honest, just looking at at Carmen's credits recently, she just yeah. does like an episode of this or that here and there for the last few years. Like, I think she's just like they contact her for something. And she's like, sounds fun, and she just does it if she feels like it or if it sounds fun. Uh, I think she's I think she's made her money and she's just in a position where like yeah sounds sounds fun I can show up on set for a couple days oh shit I mean I don't know if it, I don't know if that's the actuality just looking at the pacing of her uh, of her works that it seems about like that she had one album in 1993 self-titled <laughs>